I have become increasingly irritated over advertisements these days. All they've become is a fucking annoyance. Back in the day, advertisements were entertaining to watch, even though they were complete bullshit anyways. Just imagine the situation. Your family decides to watch a horror movie. Now as you're watching the movie, and as soon as the movie reaches high in the tension and you're about to piss your pants and scream and run towards your bed to cower in fear, the channel switches to what is known as an ad break. Now the ad breaks were like timed correctly for comic relief, and the ads were also fun to watch, even if the products were complete shit anyways. Now, the real horror is that these stinker ads are getting greenlit and getting to see the light of the day. And recently, because of a few apps, not naming any names, I have to sit through several minutes of god-awful advertisement to finally watch a video or listen to a fucking album. I mean, shit, sometimes the ad is even longer than the fucking video I'm trying to watch. In this case, you usually just click the skip ad button and be done with it. But no, it hits you with the video will play after the ad bullshit. It's not that the products advertised are half bad or anything, it's just that the advertisements are fucking awful. Shit, a fucking five year old could write a better fucking ad than these so called professional corporates with out of touch boomers who try to appeal to the younger generation. Every time you see an ad with a pompous asshole or two <laughs> trying to advertise this piece of shit product, I just want to jump out the fucking window. But first, let's talk about the app that allows you to stream music, okay? Every time I want to play a song, I want to vibe to some tunes and to not let the existential dread take over. I have to listen to this shit. Watch this short Watch video. this short, short <laughs> video. <laughs> the worst part is that they think they become self-aware and now they can quote unquote parody their ads. Like they'll play one of their ads, right? And then, and then make another person say the exact same thing, but just in a mocking tone and say how premium services won't have these fucking annoyances. Did the execs at this place just one day go, <clears throat> uh, you know, our premium service ratings have taken a real dip. What do we do now? Uh, simple. We, uh, bombard the people using our app with a shitload of ads. Then they'll have to buy premium services after the sheer annoyance. Uh, Good idea. Wait, wait. I just got the best fucking idea. Well, um, will you share it with us, please? Um, how about we parody our ads? It's like we make fun of ourselves and we get more people to buy premium services. Wait, that just might goddamn work. Goddamn. I can't believe we didn't think of this first. But uh, how do we get funding for these ads? Oh, that's easy. We just use the money we owe with the artists on our platforms. Now on the other hand, we got the Red app that allows you to play online videos, and now, if you know what I'm saying. Now I don't have a problem with the app in general, but until after experiencing a recent event, I have to lay down some fucking heat. It has to do with a certain politician. Now election season just finished here, and this season nobody was holding back any fucking punches. Like, everybody went all out. Like, it was a goddamn fucking anime tournament arc. The campaigns might have been absolute shit, but hey, at least we got some comedy gold out of it. But the problem was that we had to see the the most out of touch boomers, out of touch campaigns. Not only that, we had to see a sheer amount of it too. But one guy in particular had his ads stick out from the rest. It was like he had decided to go out, out like to, like he went, all right, I'm gonna lay my balls on the table. It's this time. It's like all it's all or nothing, bitch. And went on to make an enormous amount of ass ads. It wasn't just on this app. They were everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I would not be surprised if he had sold some ads to a fucking porn site. He even had the audacity to make a song and release it onto music streaming services. I mean, what the fuck? This needs to be put on a stop. In fact, let me make an advertisement right now that actually represents the quality these companies put out. <laughs> 